here's the computer. It's an Asus N10J. It's got a powerful graphics card. Pretty much like a netbook. And here's the main controller. It's a Wiimote with a nunchuck. And then just put it in a simple gun I found. It's like a no-name brand kind of Wii accessory that allows you to kind of make this movement for like a reload. Alright. And then this is what you <laughs> wear. You put this on your face and you get to see right through the lens. And you get to see what's on the screen going on there. And it has two separate monitors, which is pretty nice because you can actually get a full stereoscopic 3D effect. If you're running a 3D game, it sends a different signal to each of the little tiny LCD monitors in there. And here's the backpack to make it all portable. And attached on the back, the backpack here, we have some speakers. And these speakers actually kind of resonate through your body. And they get very close and very loud. And they're meant to actually be put on some kind of flat surface. And it turns that surface into a speaker, but actually I just kind of misuse it and put it against the body and it kind of makes it uh, echo through your body and makes it really kind of an intense experience for like gunshots and loud bass sound. So this virtual reality system kind of emulates hardware. What it does is it actually tricks the computer to make certain actions um, that you do on the glasses or on the gun actually come up as kind of keyboard mouse controls. So that way it kind of makes it simple to configure any video game out there, any first person shooter. You can pretty much just kind of rely on certain things like the WASD format and like the mouse controlling the view and stuff like that. So to show you real quick, here's the Vuzix and it, uh, since it has a compass inside of it, you can kind of move the mouse by that. So you can kind of see the mouse going crazy on the screen there. So as you go left and right and up and down, it kind of moves the mouse. So you can go ever so gently up and down <laughs> and left and right. So that's kind of taken care of. So by the time the video game happens, you don't need to do any kind of custom code with any video games or worry about patches or anything like that, kind of interrupting anything you do. Like uh, So you're able to take the controller, for instance, and you can start performing actions on the controller, and they start to show up on the screen. Since this is just notepad, it'll start to show up different characters. So you can kind of press like up, down, left, right and kind of create different actions depending on how I set up the controller for first person shooters you can set up each button to do different things and what's kind of cool is you can actually take the uh, mapping of the Wiimote and the accelerometers and stuff so you can actually take those actions like say if you were to like swiftly move the gun forward you can actually get some keyboard commands on there so that's good for if you're playing like say Left 4 Dead 2 and you want to swing against a bunch of zombies that are close to you and you just kind of panic and swip, flail your arms. So long as nobody's standing around you, <laughs> it'll actually move. Okay, let's check it out in the video game. This is Fallout 3 and here's the Vuzix, which you would wear. And basically as you kind of tilt it up, you uh, get the, get it to go up there. As you tilt it down, you get to kind of see the ground there, and left, and right, all that good stuff. So it's pretty pretty stable. And when it's mapped correctly, and kind of the mouse sensitivity of all things is set correctly, you actually get some really good effects. You feel really immersed in the video game. I was surprised at the results actually. Okay. And so there's that, and then here's the gun, what comes into play. Just to kind of make things simple, I just uh, mapped, uh, just pressing forward on the nunchuck, kind of make your character go forward there. Nothing too surprising there, and I have it set so if it's uh, like pushed 50% of the way, it's a normal W, and then if you uh, push all the way, it, it actually holds down the shift button on the keyboard, and then you can kind of strafe left and strafe right, and also go backwards different things there and then you can map the different buttons so next is the gun and I mapped it out so if you pull the trigger it kinda of vibrates the gun it also shoots on the screen there so and if you hold it down it'll continue to fire there and then I mapped the uh, mouse button too is the one on the top there so you can kinda of zoom in if you're playing with both hands and uh, so far these are the components, so I'm going to put them all together and actually put on the backpack and I'll show you the end result. Alright. Here's the full system in use and perhaps it's kind of killing my frame rate right now.
but here's the gun. <laughs> you can kind of walk around, kind of look over your shoulder, look all around, and you can completely turn around. The other side, and just walk forward, kind of strafe around things, kind of check things out. 